morning to all so today i'll be uh, talking about a subject uh, in vedic math and also which is used in the normal math and the topic is uh, called venkulam uh, venkulam is a uh, number which is in minus sign right minus 2 uh, minus 4 minus 100 minus 105 all these are numbers all these numbers are called venkulam numbers so they are represented as uh, like uh, minus 2 as 2 bar 2 and a bar on top top of it so it is also called as bar 2 or 2 bar uh, it is used widely in subtraction and also in multiplication so let's see some examples of it so i'll share my uh the whiteboard so that you all can see it yeah as you can see the whiteboard uh so let's do some simple now let's let's see what a venkulam number is now suppose i have a number uh, say 7 okay so 7 is nearer to the number 10 so 7 is equal to 10 minus 3 which is equal to 10 plus 3 bar so minus 3 is represented as 3 bar so it becomes so minus 3 becomes 3 bar and this becomes 1 3 bar so 1 3 bar in in terms of venkulam means 7 okay let's take another example let's take a higher number 98 so 98 uh, is closer to 100 so we we have to get a number which is closer to 10 hundreds or a number which is closer to 50 60 like that so 98 is closer to 100 so 100 minus 2 which is nothing but 100 plus 2 2 to bar which is nothing but 100 and 2 bar so 98 in terms of venkulam is 100 and 2 bar okay let's take a third example uh, which is uh, uh 1 148 so 148 is closer to 150 yes so 150 minus 2 which is also equal to 150 plus 2 bar which is equal to 1 5 2 bar so this is how it works okay so we have converted a normal number to venkulam number okay now let's do one thing let's try to convert a venkulam number to a normal number let me clear the board so if you have a number like uh, 23 bar so the bar is only on 3 this is also equal to 20 minus 3 okay and this is nothing but 17 So 23 bar is equal to 70. So this is one way of doing it. The second way of doing it is this can be also done as you reduce the number which is on the left side of the venkulam number by one and take the tens complement of three because three is a single digit number. You need to take a tens complement. So reducing two by one gives us one. and taking tens complement of 3 gives us 7 which is nothing but 17 so these two are same 
So let's take another number, uh, which is uh, 52 bar. So 52 bar. So 52 bar is nothing but, let's take the second way of doing it is reduce the number on the left side by one, which is five minus one, which is four. And take the tens complement of two, which is eight. 48. So this process is called devenculization. Okay. One is venculize. I mean, the process of converting a normal number to a venculum number is called venculization. This is called devenculization. So you bring back the venculized number to a normal number. Okay, let's take a higher number now, like one. 146 bar okay and let's take the first method doing this is nothing but 140, 140 minus 6 which is equal to 134 so what so 14 6 bar is equal to 134 pretty simple so let's, uh, so we have now learned what is a vinculum number? How do you convert a normal number to a vinculum number? And how do you convert a vinculum number to a normal number? Okay, let's do some subtraction now using vinculum. Let me clear the board. Okay, so let's take, uh, let's take a three digit number. 3, 2, 4, minus 1, 8, 9. So typically, in a normal subtraction, the way we have learned in school is you would do a borrow from 2, and this would become 14, and this would become 1, right? And you would do 14 minus uh, 9, that would be 5 and uh, you would again borrow a number from three and so on and so forth. So this is not required in Vinculum uh, kind of uh, subtraction. So the way it works is you can do it from the left side, you can do it from the right side. So let's do it from the right, uh, let's do it from the left side. So three minus two, sorry, three minus one is two, two minus eight is six bar, four minus nine is five bar, which is equal to two and 65 bar. Now this is a vinculum number. So we have to convert it, convert this to a normal number. So let's, let's do that. So we reduce the number on the left side by one which is two becomes one and we take a hundreds complement of 65 because this is a two digit number. So hundreds complement of 65 is you get uh, three and five, 135. So this, this seems to be pretty faster than the normal way of sub subtraction. So let's take another example, four, Three, two, eight, and this here it's two, eight, nine, one. Okay, let's subtract this now using the Venkula method. So four minus two is two. Three minus eight is five bar which is nothing but minus five, and this is nine. So two minus nine is minus seven, which is seven bar. Eight minus one is seven. Okay, so this number is in the vinculum form. So let's try to de this number. Reduce the left-hand side number by one, which is two minus one is one, and this is 57 bar. Okay, so 57 bar. So what we do is we take the hundreds complement of 57. 
which is nothing but 43 and 7 remains as it is so the answer is 1437 so this is how the venculum uh, works in subtraction okay let me clear the whiteboard and uh, so as you can see the venculum is a very important concept uh, in Vedic mathematics and also in normal mathematics and uh, I have learned that uh, in schools also they they teach this method so hope it was useful to you and uh, next time I will uh, come up with a new concept till then goodbye